gets it, puts it up, fourth quarter, go, 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 Nebraska wins the game, it is unbelievable! Back out on the sideline, and Bear Jones with a three on the way, got it, oh my, Bear Jones, holy cow, what an afternoon. The unmistakable voice. Nebraska will win the national championship, it is history, 13-0, and and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Williams left side of Downing, shoots it from 25, got it! A multi-faceted career, a half century in the making. He has used the platform that he has through his career to give back to the community, and I think that goes back to his love for the state of Nebraska. I've not just been a uh, voice on the radio, but somebody who's actually been out in the community, met with fans, and has contributed in various ways. Very much a community guy, very much plugged in, and uh, versatile, I think, is, is the key. I mean, he's interested in a lot of things and doing it all in a place he calls home. My fleeting thought on more than one occasion was, you know, this is where I want to be, and it wouldn't be bad to do your whole career here. Kent Pavelka, a legacy still building, but one that has forever changed broadcasting in the Cornhusker State. He's a Nebraskan at heart. Kent went to Lincoln Northeast High School. He was a rocket. I think he was doing high school baseball in Fremont in the early 1970s. First and 10 for the Tigers from the 10 yard line. The quarterback Kelly back in the pocket wants to go in the air and it's going to be a touchdown deflected and into the hands of Monty Mitchell in the end zone. After starting on the airwaves in Fremont, Kent made his way back home to Lincoln in 1974 as the play-by-play -play man for Nebraska ball in the old Coliseum. Here I am 24, 25 years old and at the old Coliseum and about to do the game and have I go to interview the coach. We have a jam-packed house on hand at the Coliseum in Lincoln tonight. Thinking he probably thinks, who's this punk? And color for Lyle Bremser on Nebraska football. Man, woman, and child did that. Put him in the aisle. Clark actually rode him like a steer, Lyle. He was on his back and Dupree carried him seven yards before somebody else could come up and help Clark out and make the stop. Unbelievable. Sometimes uh, that voice on the radio becomes the, the main conduit that a fan has to Nebraska athletics. And uh, of course, before Kent, there was Lyle Bremser. But um, sometimes, you, probably with Kent, there's been a whole generation of fans that have grown up listening to him, maybe two generations. While broadcasting games for the teams he loved, he was also helping create a radio empire at KFAB in Omaha. And that's KFAB Sports at 13 and a half past seven. Because of the high profile of Husker Sports, a lot of people associate Kent uh, with only that. Uh, but the fact of the matter is he was a tremendous on-air guy here uh, for years in the building and part of that morning show with Don Cole and Walt Kavanaugh that uh, just blew away. Uh, not only the competition, but the national numbers were incredible. There were three or four stations nationally uh, that knocked down the kind of ratings the KFAB did. And that morning show was, was a big part of it. The KFAB team had the top rated morning show in the nation, further expanding Kent's footprint and setting him up for opportunities to branch out even further. Hi everybody, Kent Pavelka for Metro and more on site at Metropolitan Community College's South Omaha campus. In the mid 2000s, Kent dabbled in a different broadcast medium, television with Metro Community College. Hi again everybody, I'm Kent Pavelka for Metro and more at MCC's Applied Technology Center. We're talking about fire science study. You've got me all decked out, uh, properly suited for safety. And I guess I'm game, we're gonna bring a, a hawk in here, right? That's right. First, we're going to show you a hawk. And this is, uh, what kind of a hawk is this? Godspeed with the oh. oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was okay. funny. You're fine. In addition to hawk misadventures, he created sponsored messages through his ad agency, Kent Pavelka and Associates. Hi, Kent Pavelka here for McCarthy's One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning. I'm Kent Pavelka for First Scan Prostate MRI Screening and the Step Up for Blue campaign. Kent has changed with the times. He was on radio for a long, long, long time, obviously, and, you know, does some TV work. Social media has become a big, big part of his life, and so, He's done a good job of leveraging those things in a good way, not just for himself, but for other people. Kent's new dance in 2001 switched his microphone over to K-Car. 
Good morning. Kent Pavelka with you. This is Omaha's Morning News, Omaha's fastest growing early morning radio show, and we've got lots to do here. But after four years on 1290, Kent decided it was time to return to the frequency that felt like home. One, two, three, family. We're good. Oscar fans, please welcome to the court six-time winner of the Nebraska Sportscaster of the Year, Kent Pavelka. Long range three. Got it! Oh, man! Bang! A ring! Game is over! It's party time! It's time to twerk! Let's go dancing! He brings it every night. Nobody has a better big call than Kent Pavelka. Double team on Copeland, kick out Watson, got it! Kent, I think as much as anybody probably is the identity of the program to many people. And he has such tremendous passion. I could tell when I got here, he absolutely loved Husker basketball. Kent Pavelka is an icon in my eyes. You know, he's great with the call and, and he's truly a homer. Harris will dunk it, Tomahawk with a right hand. Face. He's a legend here in Nebraska. He's been doing it for you know 40 plus years. He's uh, the best play-by-play -play guy around, and Husker Nation is just blessed to have him. Consistency, longevity, and uh, a great work ethic. You know, he's always well prepared. He's just done a great job for a long time. Pretty remarkable to be at it that long, and and to do it at a high level. This baby's over. Nebraska. Wins the 1994 postseason Big 8 championship. 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's going to go. Holy cow. Touchdown, Tommy Frazier. You'll hear the horn, and it will be history for the thousandth time. It has been my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly want to congratulate him on this honor. I think it's uh, overdue for Kent, uh, but I'm just so glad to see him inducted. I'm sure Kent's sitting there tonight and taking it all in, and he understands how much we appreciate him. Kent, congratulations, buddy. You got it! Dagger. Got it! Congratulations to Kent Pavelka on his induction into the Nebraska Broadcasters Association Hall of Fame.